During the upcoming weeks, these are some of the celebrities who will be playing bullseye for their favorite charities. Academy Award winner, Ernest Borgnine. Actress and champion skier, Susie Chaffee. From television's WKRP in Cincinnati, Frank Bonner. From the Jeffersons, Marla Gibbs. And comedian, Foster Brooks. They'll be playing the game of strategy, daring, and luck. They'll be playing Celebrity Bullseye. Now, here's your host, Jim Lang. Hey, thank you. Oh, very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you're very kind, and welcome once again to Celebrity Bullseye, the show where the celebrities play against each other and try to win money for their favorite charity. And Charlie, would you please introduce our two stars. Our current champion, who's winning totaling $32,800. TV movie and stage star meet Oscar winner, Ernest Borgnine. And his opponent with winnings totaling $3,800, actress and top-ranking Olympic skier meet Susie Chaffee. Welcome back to Celebrity Bullseye, Ernest and Susie. You know, your charity, I Can Associates, Ernest, is a very good charity. And your wife works in it. I bet you you're a really important guy around the house now. I mean, uh, she's... <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I get treated with an awful lot more respect. And if you pick out a book and start reading and say, I'm studying for the show. <laughs> well, good luck to you because I Can Associates already has uh, benefited $32,800 from your work and effort on this show. And I love that. May and I say thanks to Bullseye, too. Well, thank you Many for being thanks. here. Uh, we wouldn't have a show if it weren't for you. And Susie, well, you look very pretty today, as usual. That's a you nice dress. You ought to see what I see down here. What, <laughs> what do you Even see? Even prettier. Well, oh, uh, well, we're going to get nice a shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, I understand that uh, you've had an honor recently that uh, they've named uh, a pair of skis after you. That's... Yes, the first ski named after a woman skier in history. It's uh -huh. a Susie Chaffee signature line of mm -hmm. skis by the Hart Ski Company. Are they specially designed for women skiing? Yes, we hope to merchandise uh, women skiers as effectively as the tennis players well, have. Well, good. I hope and you supply have, a, our needs. have a lot of luck with that. And your uh, charity is the? World Sports Foundation, right. protecting rights of athletes. All right. Well, let's make some more money for them already. You have $3,800, and we okay. are at a crucial, crucial point in this match. In our game, of course, our players accumulate money by correctly answering questions. The celebrities have been advised, by the way, when it comes to a name, the last name is sufficient as an answer. When it comes to a title, the exact title must be given. Now, our first player to bank $2,000 or more wins the game. The player to win two out of three games wins the match and then goes on to play a new player and play the bonus game. So far, <sighs> Ernest, you have won one game in this match. Susie, you have won one game in this match. That's even Steven. In this all-important, crucial game, when our last show ended, Ernest had $1,600 in his bank already toward that $2,000. Susie, you had no money in your bank, so you're trailing. But, Susie, you have control, so that's very important. If you can hang on to it, you could win this game and the match. Okay. So let's see what happens. We'll spin the information, cover it up, and hit the button when you're ready. Susie, good luck. World Wars, $200 a question. We have the best sellers at $300 a question, and your contract is four questions. Which do you like better? Best sellers. Best sellers it'll be. The contract is worth $1,200, Susie. Here's your first one. This former TV producer struck gold with such best sellers as The Other Side of Midnight and Bloodline. Was this author Taylor Caldwell, Sidney Sheldon, or Arthur Haley? Can you repeat that one more time? The whole thing or just the, uh, the names? Um, the whole thing. All right. This former TV producer struck gold with such bestsellers as The Other Side of Midnight and Bloodline. Was the author Taylor Caldwell, Sidney Sheldon, or Arthur Haley? Taylor Caldwell? Ooh, not right. I'm sorry, no. Susie. Control goes over to Ernest. Was it Sidney Sheldon or Arthur Haley? A very dear friend of mine, Sidney Sheldon. Oh, well, that's easy then. <laughs> Sidney Sheldon, all right. Now, Ernest, three questions. If you answer these three questions, you'll still be champ and you'll win the match. Very important. Here's the next one. The illustrated book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, topped the bestseller lists in 1972 and 1973. Is the author Richard Bach, Rod McEwen, or Helen Gurley Brown? Rod McEwen. Ooh, not right. I'm sorry. Control goes back to Susie. You're saved, Susie. Is it Richard Bach? 
for Helen Gurley Brown. Richard Bach. Richard Bach is right, and now you have two more left in the contract. This popular novel by Ira Levin told the chilling story of a woman who gives birth to a little devil. Was it called The Omen, Rosemary's Baby, or The Bad Seed? Repeat that one more time, please. All right, this novel by Ira Levin told the chilling story of a woman who gives birth to a little devil. Is it The Omen, Rosemary's Baby, or The Bad Seed? Rosemary's Baby? You're right, it's Rosemary's Baby, and you're one away from completing the contract. Xavier Hollander's controversial bestseller took a unique peek at an unusual profession. Was it called The Happy Hooker, The Love Machine, or The Valley of the Dolls? The Happy Hooker. You completed the contract. You got it. Congratulations. All right, now, very big decision. Look over the situation. You can bank that money, but if you do, control goes back to Ernest. He's got the lead. Or you can leave the money in the pot, keep control, and go for it. What are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'll go for it. All right. There's an athlete for you. She's going to go for it. We'll be right back to see if she did the right thing after this. Don't go away. The taunting. Come on. The finger pointing. The excitement of celebrity family feud happens weeknights at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, only on Game Show Network. Welcome back to Celebrity Bullseye. The competitive spirit has come out. Susie has decided to leave the money in the pot, keep that control, and go for it. It's very important. She's trailing. Both players have a game apiece. This is it, Susie. Get the magic touch. We'll cover them all up. And when they're covered up, hit the button, and let's see what categories you get. You have World Wars at $300 a question, about physics at $300 a question, and the contract is two questions. Which of those two would you like to try? World Wars, World even though I don't believe in them. I don't, nobody <laughs> believes in them, Susie, so. But here are some questions about some that occurred, okay? Two questions, that's all you need to answer. The countries of the United States and Canada joined together on this scientific project and attempted to develop the atomic bomb. Was the project called the Manhattan Project, the Oak Ridge Project, or the White Sands Project? The Manhattan Project. You're right. It was the Manhattan Project. Very good. One more and you've completed the contract. Complete the contract with this one, Susie. During World War II, Germany used these divisions of armored vehicles as the spearhead of their invading armies. Were they called Eisens, Panzers, or Blitzkriegs? Panzers. You're right. They were Panzers. Absolutely right. Susie, now we have again a decision to make. Now there's $1,800 in there. You can again go for it. You didn't quite reach the $2,000, or you can bank it and send it back to Ernest. What are you going to do? I thought I made it already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not quite enough. You need two more, $200 more. I'll go for it. I'll All right. It. You're going to go for it. Okay. Bravo. Good for you. Let's find out what you just did. Spin the information. Get it all covered up. You yourself will stop by hitting the button, and we'll see what comes up. Good luck. Popular flicks. That's a visual at $300 a question. Nicknames at $300 a question. And the contract is two. All right, Susie, this is it. Which one of those two do you want? I remind you again, popular flicks is a visual category. Which will it be? Very, very, very important. I've got a lot of nicknames in my life, so I'll go for nicknames. You mean like Susie Chapstick? <laughs> All right. You got the nick? All right, you have two questions to answer, and I'll tell you this, Susie, right off. Whoever completes this contract will win the match. It's boiled down to two simple questions. If you can answer them both, Susie, you win the match. If you don't miss, here we go. Good luck, and listen carefully. Get them now. All right, Susie. <laughs> the athletic teams of Penn State our nickname for lions that live in a range of mountains not far from the college. Are they called the Tioga Lions, the Nittany Lions, or the Allegheny Lions? One more time. Okay. The athletic teams of Penn State are nicknamed for lions that live in a range of mountains not far from the college. Are they the Tioga Lions, the Nittany Lions, or the Allegheny Lions? 
The Allegheny line? Ooh, no. I'm sorry, not right, Susie. Uh -huh. Control goes over to Ernie. Ernie, are they the Tioga Lions or the Nittany Lions? Nittany. Nit uh, give me the full answer. Lions. There you go, the Nittany Lions. You had to say it. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Now. Now we're down to one question. Answer this question, and Ernie, your winnings will total over 30, what is that, $35,200. If you don't answer the question, however, and Susie does, she will win the match. So I can't take this strain. I know. The, I don't want to put the pressure. I just want to lay it out. Okay, quiet, please. This is that all-important question. He was defeated, or rather, he was nicknamed the Iron Duke, and in 1815, he defeated Napoleon at a famous battle for the match and the championship. Was he the Duke of Worcester, the Duke of Wellington, or the Duke of Warwick? The Duke of Wellington. You won the match! You did it again! Congratulations! Oh. I've got to tell you, Susie, before we say goodbye, I really admire your courage. There wasn't much else you could do except play it that way, really. You didn't want to give him control. He's such a tough player. And you did make a lot of money for the World Sports Foundation. Good luck to you with your skis, your acting career, your uh, celebrity <laughs> ski tournament that you have every year. Well, Ernest has to come to my Susie Chaffee Celebrity Pro-Am. I all. bet you he'd do it, too. And for the World Sports Foundation, you've earned $3,800. Thank you, Susie. Thank you very much. And Ernie, you have just picked up another $4,000. Your total now is $35,200. Wow. Makes you the second highest money winner ever on Celebrity Bullseye. <laughs> and it all goes to ICANN Associates. And we'll be right back to play a bonus game after these words. Don't go away. All new Three's a Crowd. Yeah. Yeah. It'll leave you speechless weeknights at 9.30 p.m., 1.30 a.m. Eastern. Only on Game Show Network. Well, it's Charlie. Well, Ernest, you've won $35,200 for ICANN. As we mentioned, that's the second most anyone has ever won on Celebrity Bullseye, and you're on your way to the record. Ready to pick up some money in the bonus you game? Bet your Let's life. go do it. Come on. Here we go. Uh -oh. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Well, you've been lucky and unlucky here so how do you and i ask you every time how do you feel how do you feel well like half and a half for right uh, uh, now well, meza, meza, meza. <laughs> all right i tell you you know behind those swirls are bullseyes various amounts of money and there's lightning spinning behind only one of them somewhere you stop them by hitting the button whatever you win if you get three bullseyes up there we'll double the money in the pot from this game and if you get the lightning of course nada all right I got you. okay it's a meza meza lucky time let's spin the information hit the button when you're ready ernie for the kids. For the kids that I can. Come on. You got $200. There comes some money. How about a bullseye? $500. And a bullseye. Good start. Good start. We'll freeze the one window. Now, you can walk away with the $500. You can risk it and go for spin number two. What do you think, folks? What should he do? All right. He says go. All right. Let's spin the two on the top. We want some more bullseyes. Come on, Ernie. You got $500 on the line. There's another bullseye. One more. $600. Now, we'll freeze that one. As you, as you know, Ernie, there's only one window left. There's lightning behind one of them. It could be behind one, two, one of the two that are already stopped, or you can risk it and go for the $600. What are you going to do? If we lose the $600, I'm going to... If we lose the $600, I'm going to pass the hat. <laughs> You're going to go? going to go. He's going to go. Let's spin the window up there. Got to hit it. It was a little early. There you go, Ernie. Come on. All right. $800. Now you can risk the $800 and go for spin number four, or you can take it and walk. What are you gonna we'll go, Jim. He's going to go for spin number four. Let's spin him. Cover him up. Come on, Ernie. A little more money. You got $800. Oh, Meza, meza, huh? <laughs> All right. With the three bowls out, we double the money that you've already won here to give you a total of $1,600 more dollars earned in the bonus game. Let's spin the information on the board and cover it up. Uh, without covering it up, you were safe. It's in the lower window, I think. There it is. The lightning was down below, and you were spinning uh, with no pressure. Of course, you didn't know that. <laughs> and your total now for the ICANN Associates, $36,800. <laughs> and still going. 
Ready to meet another challenge? You bet, Jim. Okay, go on and grab your spot over there, Ernest. Ernest Borgnine. And now, Charlie O'Donnell, would you please introduce our next celebrity challenger? Jim, the star of the Jeffersons, where she plays Florence the Maid, meet Marla Gibbs. Welcome to Celebrity Bullseye, Marla. You know, besides being a, a very famous television actress, somebody just told me that you also have a singing career. I didn't know that. Is that true? Well, coming up. Coming up. Uh -huh. <laughs> where, where do you sing? Where you? Uh... Well, I just recently purchased the uh, Memory Lane nightclub, which is now Marla's Memory Lane Supper Club, and I'll make my debut there. Here in Los Angeles? Yes, on Santa Barbara and Arlington. All right. Well, I hope everybody shows up. I'll tell you, when you own your own club, there's no problem getting to sing, is That's there? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck on Celebrity Bullseye, Marla. What is your charity? Who are you playing I'll for? I'll be playing for the United Negro College Fund, whose function is to provide higher education for the economically deprived. And the UNCF believes that a mine is a terrible thing to waste, so don't waste mine here. And let's make some money for them. All right. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Marla. We're about to begin. As you know, Ernest is the champion, so we're starting with brand new categories, a brand new game. Let's spin the information on the board. Champion goes first. Ernest, hit the button when you're ready. And let's see what comes up. This time, Asian lands at $300 a question. The art world at $300 a question. And the contract is three. Well, that looks like a tough choice, uh, Ernest. Which one of those two categories do you want to try? Well, let's try Asian lands. Asian lands it is. Three questions. If you answer them all, it's worth $900. Here's the first one. This Asian country, which once formed part of Pakistan, has the city of Dhaka as its capital. Is the country Burma, Kashmir, or Bangladesh? Uh, may I have that again, please? Sure. This Asian country, which once formed part of Pakistan, has the city of Dhaka as its capital. Is the country Burma, Kashmir, or Bangladesh? Bangladesh. You're right. Bangladesh is correct, and you're underway. One down, two to go. In 1973, this country, which is located near India, changed its name to the Republic of Sri Lanka. Was its former name Thailand, Ceylon, or Zanzibar? Ceylon. You're right again. Two down and one to go. All right, you're tough. Answer this when you complete the contract, Ernest. Is the capital of Sri Lanka Ceylonia, Colombo, or Kampuchea? Want to repeat it? Please. All right. Ceylonia, Colombo, or Kampuchea, the capital of Sri Lanka. It seems to me I've seen Ceylonia. No, I'm sorry. That's not right, Ernest. Control goes over to Marla. Marla, you can complete the contract. Is it Colombo or Kampuchea? Kampuchea. Nope. I'm sorry. It's Colombo, the capital of Sri Lanka. Control goes back to Ernest. Still, one question left in the contract. This nation in the Pacific Ocean consists of over 3,000 3, islands, of which the largest is called Honshu. Is this nation Japan, Indonesia, or the Philippines? May I have that again, please? This nation in the Pacific Ocean consists of over 3,000 islands, of which the largest is called Honshu. Is this nation Japan, Indonesia, or the Philippines? Ernie. Indonesia. Ooh, not right, Ernie. I'm sorry. Control goes over to you, Marla. Marla, is it Japan or the Philippines? The Philippines. No, it's Japan. Control goes back to Ernest. Still one question left in the contract. I'm sure I should have known, but I... <laughs> Try this one. This country does not have any rivers, and its cities such as Riyadh and Jeddah are clustered around its few oases. Is this country Jordan, Iraq, or Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia. You got it. You've completed the contract. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Ernie, $900 in the pot. Do you want to bank the money or are you going to leave it and play on? I think we'll bank it. All right. The money goes to I can. Control goes over to Marla. Let's spin the information again on the board. When it's all covered up, Marla, you hit the button and you select the category this time. It's your choice. Good luck. Here we go. Hit it when you're ready, Marla. Marla, you have to hit the one. That's it. Public opinion, $500 a question. The art world at $500 a question. And the con... Bullseye! Oh, boy. That is about as sweet a board as I've ever seen. Now, they're big, high-priced 
uh, categories. Which one do you choose, Mara? I think I'll go for public opinion. All right, public opinion. If you answer four questions, you will win this first game. I remind you, with the bullseye up, you can answer as many as you like or you can stop whenever you want. All right, Marla, here's the first question. We ask the following of single men. Name a woman with whom you might want to spend a romantic weekend on a tropical island. Did they pick Lonnie Anderson, Cheryl Ladd, or their girlfriend? <laughs> Lonnie Anderson. No, I'm sorry, they <laughs> didn't. Girlfriend. Control goes over to Ernest. <laughs> Ernest, did they say Cheryl Ladd or their girlfriend? Their girlfriend. They did, barely beating out Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> All right, Ernest, you can continue on and go to another question or end the contest. We'll, we'll continue. All right, we'll go on to that next question when we continue on Celebrity Bullseye in a moment. Don't go away. The taunting, come on, the finger pointing, the excitement of Celebrity Family Feud happens weeknights at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific only on Game Show Network. Match game fashion tip number nine, shirt with sparkly hands, very cool. Match game tastefully fun weeknights at 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern. We're out of time, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. See you then, bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by a supply of quality automotive chemicals from the marketers of popular Quaker State motor oils. You'll be staying on the road with Quaker State. Also serve your kids a Golden Griddle pancake breakfast with 40% more protein than a typical breakfast. Golden Griddle makes good nutrition delicious. Plus drink in the refreshing taste of Lipton iced tea mixed with quality teas, natural lemon flavor, and sugar. Just drink it in. Also Bed Sack, new idea in bed covering, provides luxury upholstery for your old mattresses or box springs and protection for you. Furnished by Bed Sack. Game show host. <laughs> it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Best of Family Feud, weeknights at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific on Game Show Network.